Last week on Candy Apple TV, I showed you how to prevent sticky candy apples. This week on Candy Apple TV, I will show you how to make Cookie Monster candy apples with the cute blue candy apple bows. A chocolate chip cookie. Chocolate chip cookie important to me too. Yeah, I mean whole lot to me. Important. Um, 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 um. If you want to change your treat life with these amazing cookies, make sure you become a member of my channel. All you have to do is be logged in, hit that subscribe button. This is on your cell phone. Go next to the playlist, hit that drop down arrow button, and then click membership. On your desktop, you just click join. And that's it. And you can learn how to make these delicious, amazing chocolate chip cookies. These are my silicone molds. You can find them down below in my Amazon bake shop. I have lowercase, uppercase, and numbers. This is a quick, easy way on how to apply fondant. Just take a small amount of fondant and roll it in your hands like a worm and place it inside the ladders. This way you don't have access fondant to scrape off. If you do, you can use the fondant tools that I supply. Down below in the description box, you can find all of the tools necessary that you need to make for your candy apples down below in my Amazon Bake Shop. Just click on the Amazon Bake Shop link. So right now, I am pushing down the fondant. If your fondant is too sticky, you can use Talos powder. You can actually put Talos powder on top of your letters to dry the letters out so they're not as sticky. This is Gum Tex by Wilton's. Gum Tex and Talos powder is the same. And you just pop them out. You can pop them out like that as well. In this candy apple step, I am applying the new color fondant to the candy apples. They just stick on the candy apples since I just made them. There's no need to add water or anything like that. They just stick on. Add one delicious chocolate chip cookie on top of your candy apple. All you need is one because these look so amazing and they are so delicious. I use poppy paint to add onto my cookie letters on the candy apple to make the letters look more realistic like cookies, like chocolate chip cookies, which are my favorite. I have my blue, black, and white fondant, and I am using my cookie cutter to cut the Cookie Monster face out. This is the face, then I take the eyes and cut out the eyes, and for the black pupils, instead of using fondant, I think it's easier to use edible markers, and you just draw them on its edible markers, so they will be edible. The link to the Cookie Monster cookie cutters are down below in the description box. The fondant is sticky. The fondant just sticks on. If your fondant doesn't stick on, just dab a little water on the back of the fondant and apply it. This is the edible marker that I was talking about earlier. This is very easy to do. Look at this Cookie Monster candy apple. I can just eat everything right now. Add a dab of water on the back of the Cookie Monster face and apply it to the candy apple. Now we're going to make some cute candy apple bows. You're going to take your ribbon, make sure you have tail hanging. You're going to wrap around both of your index and middle finger. Come up, wrap around your index finger. If you need help on these bows, click on the link up on your screen on how to make my trending candy apple bows. You pull the ribbon.
to fluff out your candy apple bow, treat bow, dessert bow, whatever you want to call this. It's yours. You just fluff it out. Here is your candy apple bow, or whatever you call it, treat bow, dessert bow. Take your hot glue gun, put a dab of hot glue on the back of your candy apple bow, treat bow, dessert bow, whatever you call it, and attach it to the candy apple stick. I use the 641 candy apple recipe with the Wilton's White. I was so excited about these cookies and Lord knows I try not to make them because I usually eat one dozen because they make about three and a half dozens and they are so good. I have to get the other cookies ready and boxed up and delivered to the customer. All packed up and ready to be delivered to the customers. If you have enjoyed this Cookie Monster candy apple tutorial, make sure you stay tuned to watch my next candy apple tutorials coming up right here on Candy Apple TV. I'll see you over in my next videos.